So in this old guy DIY video, we're gonna take some eBay um, headlights, projector headlights for 2000 through 2006 Yukon or Yukon Denali. And uh, we're gonna be retrofitting them with Bi-Xenon, Morimoto, Mini H1 7.0 projectors for better light output and using these C and C, B and D designs custom brackets uh, to do it. First thing we want to do is take off the OEM housing here. So you'll need a 10 millimeter bolt and then a Phillips head. So we have the first part of the housing taken apart. These three do not need to come off. All you need is that Phillips and that one, and then just to pry this bracket up. We're having trouble getting it off. So into the oven she goes for the first time. 270 degrees, starting at seven minutes. And we'll see what happens. We got the screwdriver in there. Try to do it one-handed, but you can see now that the adhesive is warmed up, it's possible to get in there and pry. You just go all the way around and then this will pop right up. And here we go. So the old projector, you, know, you can see the sealant just pried right out. Um, so this whole thing in my right hand, we can get rid of. We no longer need it. Here we have the Mormoto Mini 7.0 and the CB, CB and D bracket. And it only fits on one way. And you'll see if I can zoom in. It's got four holes and uh, we just put bolts and nuts. So I'll come back and show you that in a second. All right, so now we've got the C, B, and D bracket mounted to the projector. You can see if you look at it that there are um, these little dongs or whatever. And then you can see one's bigger than the other, so it only fits in one way. And it has to drop in like this. Now the issue with this kit is for whatever reason, these two ears right here rub the housing. So this is the most difficult or time consuming part. So we're gonna have to, you know, dremel or cut or break the plastic out so that this will sit down. So if you pull that out, you'll see these ears right here are what's rubbing and they rub right in here. So that needs to be fixed. All right, so you can see a little mess I've made, but took the dremel here and cut out room right there, enough for these ears, so that it just drops into place, and then the screws will take the rest of the way, and then we will be using uh, this RTV silicone going around the entire thing, and then dropping it in, and then that should pretty, and then just reassemble it, and that should pretty much be it. So now that it is siliconed in there, and we have all the screws on. We can go ahead and add back this other part of the bracket and then we'll pretty much reset. So once you get your headlights put back together, you just install them. All it is is this pin right here and this pin. Uh, I won't show the wiring. It's pretty simple, uh, but I put my brush guard back on and you can't move the light out while the brush guard's there. Uh, all the lights plug in only one way, so there's no way to mess it up. Uh, you should get like a a relay kit. Um, I bought this with a, a different kit and then like reused it. I'll see if I can find one for you guys. But uh, they for these HIDs, they suggest to use a relay kit so you get a dedicated positive in ground. So in this case, here on the back side of this bolt is where I ran the negative, and then I have an aftermarket audio system. So this is just a, a positive. It's a fuse block, but that just runs to the positive, and then. Here's one of my ballasts. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, the ballast is what gives it power, I guess. I don't know too much about this stuff. And then here's where I mounted the other ballast here next to my cold air intake. And then there's the other light. And I'll just uh, cut now to some videos of before driving with my plug and play LEDs and then after uh, with the HIDs. So here is just a before and after picture uh, with the LED low beam and HID uh, low beam and you can see the difference immediately. You know, you got a lot more coverage, a nice clean cutoff, 
uh, and also you aren't going to be blinding other drivers. And then here again, you can see, you know, the LED high beam is basically nothing, just a, a huge clump of crap in the middle of your windshield. And you can see that the HID retrofit really just lights up the entire road. It's great for driving, perfect if you live in a place with lots of deer where you're dodging them every night. Just overall, the best bang for your buck. So here's just a little video of driving around with the LED plug and plays on kind of back roads. Uh, you know, a dark night, not too many street lights, other cars. Um, important to note is I have a 35% windshield tint across my entire windshield, uh, not just a stripe at the top. But um, so it is darker than it would be for a normal person. But uh, the the LEDs still suck just as much whether you have you know a tinted windshield or not. So again, here's another shot, uh, back road driving, in Western Michigan towards the end of winter, uh, HID low beam, 1% tint on all of the windows, 35% tint on the windshield. So not a lot of light gets into the vehicle, but with these HIDs, you know, I can still see the road great, a lot better than I could before with the OEM lights or even the plug and play LEDs. Um, that's really all there is to it. You know, it's a pretty easy swap and worth every penny.